have to keep it for uh, you have to understand that time and you have to remember but here it is not like that the classes are uh, getting recorded and you have the recording so you can keep for your entire life so coming to the introduction class the topics what we take is etl testing bi reporting testing now guys this is a combination of etl testing and bi reporting testing which is very very different from any other institute any other institute will teach you only etl testing but we teach etl testing plus bi report testing the the bi reporting tool what we take is power bi and the etl testing tool what we take is informatica we will give you the software entire installation process and everything and that's for your entire life you can keep your informatica tool you can keep your sql tool you can take your database tool you can practice it for your entire life and that is a software what we give we take classes on manual testing live projects we teach completely data migration project we will teach after uh, finishing our syllabus we take the mock interview and then uh, it's a kind of uh, interview since i have taken many interviews in my life so we conduct a mock interview it will be same like uh, your actual interview and even tougher and then we discuss completely interview questions and the database what we take is oracle then we teach unix and we also teach a test management tool quality center that is called as alm and bug tracking tool like jira scheduling tool we teach is tidal and uh, cloud based etl testing also we have introduced and from last batches we have started testing cloud based etl testing what we provide is the recording the material the software the cv preparation entire cv we will prepare the mock interviews the interview question and the interviews we provide these things we provide which is very very unique recording of every That's session we give yeah hey, hi everyone okay I'm giving you the access. Whoever um, can record, please record these sessions. There's no problem. So I have just started the introduction class. So I was telling these are the topics: ETL testing, BI reporting testing, manual testing, live project, mock interview, interview questions, SQL. Um, we take the software Oracle, Unix test management tool ALM, scheduling tool Tidal, ETL tool Informatica, and bug tracking tool Jira, and cloud-based ETL test. what we provide is different because we give every day sessions recording no other institute gives which is very very different the materials what we give is completely different completely owned by us prepared by us made by us the software what we give is for your entire life you can use it informatica software for your entire life this is again very different from the other institutes cv what we prepare is completely different from the other institutes mock interview we take that is again very very unique mock interview we take exactly same as your uh, is your corporate interviews interview questions we discuss and we provide the interviews so this is our youtube link and this is our website link you can subscribe and you can see how we are teaching and why we tell we are different from other institutes you can see our teaching i have taken each and every sessions more than 50000 uh, students i have taught and uh, 13 years of experience i have in this things and i am telling you there is no one who can teach my like me in this entire country and i tell this openly you can go and check in any other institute my teaching way of teaching is completely different as completely simple as completely accurate this is i just discussed wanted to know that if you know the service based company and product based company so these are service based company which provides services to the customer but product based company develops a product at his own okay so that is what is the difference like oracle bmc microsoft google and all they are developing the uh, product at their own but the companies like tcs wipro accenture ibm and all uh, they are giving services to the uh, customer so if you see ibm is in service based company and ibm is also in product based company so why is it do you know anything that i have written ibm in service based company and ibm in product based company why is it anyone knows because these are what hybrid companies they work as a service based company as well as as a product based company guys please respond okay so this is what is the thing guys this is the things what we will teach these are the things what we provide 
and this is the service based product based company this is my youtube channel this is my website where you can download the syllabus and see everything am i clear till here guys please respond yes or no guys yes okay. yes yes good good thank you thank you uh keep responding guys okay so this is uh, any doubts still here uh, you have any doubts in uh, topics and the what we provide is it clear fine guys if you have any doubts you can ask here or after the class or before the class or any time in whatsapp i am always available very prompt punctual and very timeful in our teaching eight means eight we will start it will never be eight one one minute also matters a lot for me at this stage of life so guys just i wanted to start the very very basic first class on sql and etl testing so anyone knows what is sql any idea anyone has heard what is sql it is a structured query language yeah structured query language so this is a full form okay so what is actually sql this is the full form of sql anyone knows what is the definition of sql how will you tell what is sql a structured query language is full form so what is sql actually any idea any guess yeah if you want to interact with the database uh, we need sql so first of all guys it is a language what is the sql it is a language like telugu is a language tamil is a language kannada is a language malayalam is a language like that it is a language now english is a language so why this language are you required to communicate with the people that is what is the language so like that sql is a language to communicate to what to the database to access what the database okay so first of all guys very simple it is a language to access what database anyone knows what is a database any idea anyone knows a guessing database any one has ever heard what is a database it is a collection of the data yeah it is a correct it is a collection of data and this data is collected in the form of what in the form tables of and tables table. so it is a collection of data in the form of tables of the point guys we are collecting the data in some place and that to in a table tabular format so that is why it is called a database so what is a table guys any idea what is a table it is a combination of the cells combination of cells okay columns and rows yeah so table is basically what is we have the rows and we have the columns so we can call it as what collection of rows and columns are called as table row is also called as what guys tuple tuple and column is also called as what field field or attribute okay so this is what is the row and the column okay point this is very very basic thing see guys today's class is a very very basic thing many people get confused so please pay attention what is a schema have you heard about that what is a schema structure of database structure of database what is the difference people think that schema database all things are same anyone has ever heard about there is a schema schema is nothing but collection of tables i think so collection of table will then become a database okay. what is a data first tell me what is a data any meaningful any meaningful information is called as data and data is stored where guys data is stored where do you know that data warehouse data warehouse now what is data warehouse now what is database what is schema what is cell all these things are by guys very very crucial everyone is thinking the same thing only the same thing only and getting confused but my students see today is the free demo class but learn if you want to join please join 
but learn these things guys these are the very very building blocks only vts takes the class in a very unique way just learn see data is stored in cells now what is a cell guys what is a cell i see this is a considering it is a, a table why we are considering this is as a table because there are rows there are column this is called a cell yes or no guys yes this is called a cell why this is a cell so why this is a cell what is the definition of cell if i want to tell you what is the definition of cell what you will tell intersection of what guys rows and column wherever a row and column is intersecting is it a cell or not tell me yes or no yes, yes. so what is a cell guys tell me what is a cell now how will i define a cell intersection of what rows and columns rows and columns yeah. now guys schema is a folder structure are you able to understand schema is a folder structure schema is a folder structure now this is very very difficult to understand what is a folder structure here no in a kitchen if i go to a kitchen now considering this kitchen as a database okay so in that what will happen guys in this kitchen i will have a box okay there will be lot of boxes i will be dividing that boxes okay now there will be a box box 1 box 2 i have divided that into blocks or boxes okay so this box 1 box 2 box 3 three boxes are there okay now here i am keeping the grocery item here i am keeping the vegetables here i am keeping the fruits so now what happened guys i have made what three folders like in your hard disk we prepared a folder of movie we prepare a folder of images we prepare a folder of music now what happened hard disk is a database inside that database i am making three folders one is what movie one is what pictures one is what music that is nothing but a schema the folder structure inside a database now in that again guys there will be further division okay in the vegetables i will make what there will be uh potato there will be onion there will be brinjal so many further divisions will be there like that for fruits there will be mangoes oranges so again it will get further divided that means in the first of all there is a hard disk let us understand like this this is a hard disk now hard disk is a hard disk is a database now in this database what happened i have created the movie folder which is a schema in that movie folder i have created one bollywood and another what hollywood now what happened guys this is again further division okay now in this bollywood i'll keep the now the datas and in hollywood i'll keep the hollywood movies so this is now further divided first there is a database inside there is schema and inside the schema there will be tables and inside tables there will be data this is overall architecture now let us just understand in a uh, better way this is our database where all the datas will be stored now inside this database there will be schema 1 schema 2 schema 3 schema 4 i have made it as the four sub sections in the kitchen now what happened in schema 1 there will be table 1 now in this kitchen i made the four uh, sub divisions and in that divisions i am making again for the division this is table 1 this is table 2 this is table 3 this is table 4 now inside the table what will happen guys there will be what rows and there will be columns and intersection of this rows and columns are called as what guys everyone tell me what is this intersection of rows and columns are called as cells yeah. and data are stored where in these cells yes or no guys yes. yes so first it is what tell me the layer first it is what database inside database what is there schema inside schema there is what tables and inside table there will be actual data yes or no guys yes tell me yes or no am i clear any doubts any doubts guys tell me yes or no yes clear yes clear yes so this is overall database inside now if someone will ask you what is a database what you will tell it's a collection of data in the form of tables what is a schema is a folder structure inside the database 
and then inside the schema there will be tables and inside tables there will be data there's some uh, disturbance uh, voice is coming off uh, television and all uh, that person can uh, please mute your system yeah fine now guys if you have understood this much so tell me now what is the difference between a database and a data warehouse everyone is telling me what is the difference between database and data warehouse no one knows this everyone will tell me both are same now what is the difference between database and data warehouse can someone tell me please data warehouse is a, a collection of databases data warehouse data warehouse is what collection, collection of, of databases. databases okay and what the other things what is a database and what is the difference between a database and data warehouse anyone knows any idea database is the store uh, like a one year and two year, one year below in data warehouse we store like a 10 years and below. 10 years means, means with huge huge number of years of data is there then it becomes a data warehouse yeah, yeah. correct am i correct this is what you want to tell yes sir yes, yes. any more guesses guys so now guys most of the people are confused in this database and data warehouse now today let me clear your database and data warehouse concept data warehouse is also a database that is called that is called as data warehouse database but database to qualify as data warehouse understand database to qualify as data warehouse should qualify this four property what is that subject oriented integrated which is the most important integrated time variant and next is what guys non volatile these four properties if a database qualifies it becomes a data warehouse are you able to understand this is database to qualify as data warehouse, what are the properties required? Subject oriented, integrated, time variant, and non volatile. If a database qualifies all these four property, it becomes a data warehouse. Now we'll understand what is subject oriented. Subject oriented means what, guys? It's a for a particular subject, like what? Sales, HR, finance. The data here should be uh, for a particular subject. Now, the most important for a database to qualify as data warehouse, if you tell this integrated, is 90% of the answer is given. Integrated means what, guys? Now, the sale of Lee jeans in Marathalli, Bangalore is happening. Now, day-to-day -day activities data is going in a database in Marathalli. Now, there is another place in Bangalore called as Silk Board, another place BTM another place Hebbal. Now four places this jeans is getting sold. One is Marathalli, one is Hebbal, one is uh, Mangala, one is BTM. So many places it is going. So suppose in BTM, the sale of this Lee jeans is happening, it's getting stored in database. Now guys, in this database, the data are getting stored for BTM place. But if I want to get for Silk Board. Now, Silk Board data will be Silk Board is a place in uh, Bangalore. Have you ever visited Bangalore? Anyone? Yeah. No one? I, I stayed one year. Okay, okay, fine. So, have you heard about these places? BTM, Silk Board. These yeah, are guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. these are guys' places in Bangalore. BTM, the jeans is getting sold for a particular brand, Lee, and it is stored in a database. Now, Silk Board is a place where again. Uh, jeans is sold for Lee. Again, there's a place called as Kor Mangala. So again, what happens, guys? There's a Lee jeans getting sold. Now, all these data are getting integrated and is stored in a database that is called as data warehouse. Are you able to understand? BTM data, Silk Board data, Kor Mangala data, all these data are getting collected and integrated in a database that is called as data warehouse. The most important point for a database to qualify as data warehouse is it should be an integrated data. Keep in your mind, data warehouse data is always an integrated data. It is never non-integrated data, but database data is what? Not a integrated data. It is what? The sale is happening in BTM. It is storing, the database is storing, but data warehouse, the sale of the BTM, the sale of the core Mangla, the sale of the Silk Board, all these data from the database one, two, three is collected and stored in a centralized repository that is called as what? Data warehouse database. That means what? 
database one, database two, database three. From all these three databases, all these three databases, data is collected. No, no, I never come there. Collected and uh, collected and integrated. Why should I actually my data? Integrated. So it is called as what, guys? Data warehouse. Are you able to understand, guys? What is integrated? From it? Yes or no? Guys, uh, please mute someone is uh, uh, voice is coming. Please mute that system. Yeah, guys, please mute your system. Yeah. Now, guys, am I clear that from these three databases, the data is getting stored in data warehouse? So that means the database to qualify as data warehouse, the data must be integrated. Am I clear with this property? Tell me yes or no. Just tell me yes or no. Uh, can someone tell me yes or no? Samba, yes or no? Yes, yes. If yes, you sir. understood the integrated property, here yes, yes. Um, this data is getting stored in this database. This data, the sale of genes in Silk Board is getting stored in DB2. Core Mangla genes is getting stored in DB3. Now from all this DB1, DB2, DB3 data is getting stored in a place that is called as what data warehouse. So for a database to qualify as data warehouse, the most important property is integrated time variant means what guys huge number of years huge number of years it, it will be 10 years 20 years 100 year 1000 years those kind of data are where guys in the data warehouse now 100 years before uh, if suppose some transaction happened for the pf account now this cannot be kept in a database okay this value when my uh, grand grandfather pf amount where is that account what is the value those things are stored where in the data warehouse non volatile means what guys since it's a huge amount of data we will not do update and delete frequently here we cannot do update and delete because say 200 uh, years before what is the data we cannot just update and delete uh, because we don't know Right, so those things, that those properties called as non-volatile. We will not do update and delete in the data warehouse. So if these four properties are there, if a database qualifies these four properties, subject-oriented, integrated, time-variant, non-volatile, then it becomes a data warehouse database. Am I clear, guys? Tell me yes or no. Did you understood what is the difference between database and data warehouse? Tell me yes or no, everyone. Can someone yes, tell sir. me yes or no? Yes. yes. Sir, uh, can you explain one again? Yes, one? yes, 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 yes. See, a database and a data warehouse. We are talking about what is the difference, uh, you know, for defining a database and a data warehouse. So I told for a database to qualify as data warehouse, there are four properties which needs to be met, four prop criteria which needs to be met so that a database will be called as a data warehouse. What is the first property? It is subject oriented. It should be the data in the data warehouse should be subject oriented. It can be a part for a particular subject like sales, it can be a for a particular property like HR, finance. Then it becomes what? It qualifies one of the property called as what? Of one of the property called as what? Subject oriented. The most important property is integrated data. Integrated means what? The day-to-day -day transaction, what is happening? That is getting stored in database, okay? Suppose our genes is getting sold in a particular place. Suppose in Mumbai, our genes is getting sto uh, stored. The genes is getting sold. Now, Kolkata genes is getting stored. Chennai uh, genes is getting stored, ba uh, getting sold. Bangalore genes is getting uh, sold. Now, all this Mumbai, Calcutta, Bangalore, Chennai, Pune, Delhi, all this data will get integrated in a particular database that is called as what data warehouse database. That means that data in the data warehouse is always and always integrated data. This is the first, def uh, first definition what you should tell when you define a data warehouse. The data in the data warehouse is integrated data. The sale which is happening in Chennai, the sale which is happening in Bangalore, the sale which is happening in Kolkata. All this sales data will be stored in a centralized database that is called as what? Data warehouse database. Am I clear with this integrated property? Tell me yes or no, guys. Tell me yes, yes. or no. Yes, yes. See, guys, time variant means what? Huge amount, number of years. 
like 10 year, 20 year, 100 years of data are there in the data warehouse. So it is called as what? Time again. Non-volatile means what guys? Since it's a huge number of year of data, we cannot use what guys? Update and delete. Am I clear? Tell me yes or no. Any, any doubt still here? Yes or no guys? Can someone tell me yes or no? Samba? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Now, guys, this is the basic class I have taken in SQL. What is SQL? It's a language to access the database. What is database? It's collection of data in the form of tables. What is table? Collection of rows and columns. Now, what is schema? It's a folder structure. What is data? Meaningful information. Why, where is data stored? In this cell. What is cell? It's an intersection of what? Rows and columns. Yes or no, guys? A database to qualify as data warehouse, it should uh, satisfy these four points, subject-oriented, integrated, time-variant, and non-volatile. Am I clear till this much, guys? Tell me yes or no. Yes. 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 So, guys, there is something called as ETL testing. ETL testing. Now, what is this ETL testing? It's called as what, guys? Extract, transform, and load testing. We are extracting the data transforming means changing the data and then loading the data and testing this extracted and transformed data is called as ETL testing. First, we, we extracted the data, we transformed the data, we loaded the data, and then we did the testing. So it is called as what? Extract, transform, and load testing. Now the source system, uh, now data is getting extracted from the source system. Now what is a source system? What is a source system? It can be an XML file, it can be a database, it can be an Excel file, or it can be a simple file having an extension of .csv or .psv, comma separated value or pipe separated value. This can be the source system. Source system can be an XML file, it can be a database, it can be an Excel file, it can be a normal file. Now, all this data is taken from the source system and then transformed. Transform means what? Some changes are getting done and then it is getting loaded into the data warehouse. Okay. And then we are testing that the data from the source system and the data where has been loaded into the data warehouse is matching or not. This is the first thing we test as an ETL tester. We need to check the data from the source to the data warehouse. And next from the data warehouse, it goes to the BI report, the report which is generated, we have to do this testing. There are two kinds of testing. First from source to data warehouse, next is from data warehouse to the BI report. We have to run the workflow, check the status of the workflow and log and all. This we will see when we will learn the informatica. I'll tell you in detail. Now guys, about the ETL architecture, uh, anyone uh, know any, any any female is here? Uh, any female? Any female is there? Someone or someone? Saya Saya Reddy, are you there? Saya Reddy, am I there? Yes, I'm here. No, 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 you, you, no, no, sorry, not, not Shaya. What is her name, lady? Samba. Samba is, a, who is it? Shaya Reddy. Shaya Reddy is a female or male? I don't it's know. male. Huh? Male. Oh, it's male only. All males are only. Okay, fine, fine, fine. So, there is no problem. When, uh, when uh, I was a bachelor, now, uh, then we used to cook fo food. Now, tell me, Samba, you only tell me. Do you know cooking? Yes, yes. So suppose I have to make a potato curry. So how can we make the potato curry? Can you just tell me? What is the first step for making a potato curry? Yeah. First wash the potatoes, then uh, pieces into potatoes and uh, boil the oil. Wait, 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 slowly, slowly. Wash the potato. Okay, then. Then. then uh, uh, pieces, uh, cut the uh, pieces into okay, cut uh, them. Uh, uh, yes, thereafter, uh, we'll boil the oil, okay, then, uh, then put it into the uh, vegetables in there okay. and uh, we'll follow that. 
very good very good i think you are cooking <laughs> good, good 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 so guys what happens you see to understand this etl architecture the cooking is very much required okay what we do first thing is that we take the potato and then what we do guys first thing is the very preliminary thing what we will do we will wash it yes or no without washing we cannot eat yes or no guys yes first we will wash it after washing what will happen tell me after washing what what we do do we peel out the skin peel out the skin of uh, the potato yes or no guys yes or no yes, tell me yes or no samba yes sir yes sir after peeling out the skin of the potato then we cut yes or no yes cut after cutting we cook yes or no yes sir this is the four steps okay guys that means first thing is washing of the potato then is peel out the skin of the potato then is cut and then is cook if you know this four steps you will understand what is etl architecture guys let us just see what is etl architecture guys is a very complex architecture any etl interview you attend in your entire life first question will be asked is can I explain the etl architecture so listen now only and keep for your entire life this is the source system what can be the source system it can be a flat file it can be an excel file it can be an xml it can be a database now this is a source system there is a layer called as ods okay there this is also called as guys what landing area ods is also called as what guys landing area from ods okay operational data source it goes to the staging layer from staging layer it goes to the data warehouse from data warehouse it goes to the data mart from data mart it goes to the bi report and this bi report is seen by the end user this is overall architecture first what happens guys data is moving from where data is being extracted from the source system first thing is what we brought the potato that is nothing but data is extracted from the source system now guys ods and landing area is very very uh, rarely used in any company landing area or ods operational data source so but some company uses 99% of the company from the source it will go to the staging area from staging it will go to the data warehouse and from data warehouse it will go to the bi report you will tell the same but what is landing area or staging area landing area or ods layer what happens guys in this operational data source very very minute kind of testing is happening like what we brought the potato and we washed the potato this washing of the potato means the very very minimal check of the data is done in the uh, ods layer or the landing area like first letter of the name should be capital this is a very very minute kind of testing very very few kind of testing very less testing is done in this ods area or the landing area because the data is getting landed here so what happened the potato has come we have washed that potato that means we have done a minimal checking that is nothing but the first letter of the name should be capital from ods it went to the next layer that is nothing but your staging layer that is nothing but your staging layer now staging layer we will do the actual data quality check data quality means what guys checking the quality of the data like there is no underscore in the data unnecessary underscore and all is not there in the data checking what the data type we'll check the data type of the data data type means like it can be number character that is nothing but the structure validation this is one kind of testing we'll check do in the staging area rounding off of the data this is again done in the which layer guys in the staging layer as i told you to cook the vegetable first what we the washing of potato we did in the ods layer but peel out of the screen of the potato this is a testing data quality testing we are doing in which layer guys in the staging area now this cutting cutting means what guys this is the actual transformation this is the actual transformation cutting of the data is done the actual transformation this will happen where guys in the data warehouse this will happen where guys in the data warehouse this is the most complex 
complex part of the testing that is what testing the transformation if you know how to test the transformation there are a lot of transformation i will teach you when i'll teach you informatica aggregate transformation expression transformation filter transformation this is the most complex part of the testing that means what will happen the data from the staging layer will go to the data warehouse where the actual transformation will happen suppose out of four uh, uh, four uh, department number data warehouse where the actual testing will happen happen what will happen there are four department number 10 20 30 now only what will happen only department 10 will be loaded this is the filter transformation actual transformation logic will happen or uh, transformation will happen in the data warehouse from the data warehouse data mart is a sub part of the data warehouse sub section of the i can tell you the data warehouse suppose the entire employee data is in the data warehouse so hr department finance department marketing department these are nothing but the subset of the data warehouse then the data goes into the data mart that is a subset of the data and then finally it goes into the bi report which is uh, which is shown to the end users and this uh, bi report uh, based on that the management takes the decision the ceo the md of the company will take the decision so many people are leaving the job my iteration rate is very very high okay this product sale is not happening okay so i will what happen i will have to update this product or i will have to remove this product this is what the bi report we are using power bi as a bi reporting tool so the testing is divided into two parts what are the part guys first from source to the data warehouse and then from the data warehouse to what to the bi report am i clear tell me yes or no everyone yes so this is etl architecture guys tell me etl architecture data goes from where from the source to the ods layer from ods to the staging from staging to the data warehouse from data warehouse to the data mart and from data mart to the bi report but when you will explain Someone will ask you, okay, you have worked in ETL testing and all, tell me your project architecture. You should not tell all these layers, layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four, layer five. You should tell data is coming from this whole system. It's going to the staging area. Then it's going, don't tell this ODS. ODS is not used in any company nowadays. Tell from data is coming from the source to the staging, from data warehouse, then to data mart and the BI report. Testing is divided into two parts. What are the parts? First, we are testing the data from the source to the data warehouse. Then we are testing the data from the data warehouse to the BI report. There are two kinds of testing we will learn, guys. This is only taught in BTS. First, we'll teach you a complete ETL testing, and then we will teach you complete BI report testing. ETL testing is over, guys. From source, data goes to, goes to data warehouse. Till here, it is ETL testing. But when it comes from data warehouse, to the bi report it becomes what guys bi report testing we are teaching power bi as the power of bi report testing tool informatica as a etl testing tool and entire architecture entire testing guys this is the best there's no one you go to any institute this is the best there's no one who can replace the best so this is our institute we teach the best and we tell openly we are the best virat kohli is the best batsman you cannot um, match with him anyone with any other batsman so this is how we teach guys i have just given a sample of the te uh, teaching how we are going to take we'll start from sql i'll just show you the software that we will give you that you will use for your entire life guys and you will not give it to anyone just like that only you will keep for yourself and uh, this let me just show you the uh, software guys this is the software which will be given you um, the classes will be from 8 to 9 p.m. Monday to Friday and weekend will be holidays. And every day I take class, guys, one and a half month course I take. Live project, entire data migration project. You will become expert in SQL. You become expert in ETL and BI reporting testing. This software, what we will give, is a very exclusive software only for you, which you can use for your entire life. The recording sessions will be given you, which you can use for your entire life. And daily recording we give, not only that for a few days you will, what you have missed and all those things will not happen. Every day, whatever we will teach, we'll give the recording so that you can keep for your entire life. If you have not attended the class, then also you can just check at least the uh, videos. So that is what is the difference, guys, 
what we teach and what is the uh, difference from other institute guys. This is Oracle S software guys, SQL plus. This is Power BI Informatica software, which we will start the practicing from tomorrow. Scott and Tiger is the password. Okay. So these softwares and all, I will be providing you from tomorrow. Okay. We'll start using these softwares, guys. All this uh, SQL software, this is Power BI Informatica software. All the softwares will be given to you from tomorrow. And uh, you uh, that installation and everything will be told to you, okay? So these things we will tell you guys, uh, the software giving and uh, your entire, uh, how will you uh, install the software? That also I will tell you guys, this is very, very easy. We have to install this VM. Uh, VM workstation. This is the VM workstation, which I will provide you the link. You have to just download this uh, VM workstation. VM workstation download. I'll just share you the link. Just download this uh, VM workstation from this particular link. And this software I will go give to you. And what you have to do is here from here, you have to download, guys. I'm sharing you the link. And the software I will give you, just you have to browse it and entire software is already installed. Both Informatica and your uh, uh, Oracle is already installed. You can just start practicing from here. So that is what is the plan, guys. And that is what is the thing. And I think uh, we are teaching from so many years, guys. Uh, and uh, complete expertise is there. This is our material, what we give on ETL testing. So many people ask me, give me material, give me material. I don't give because it's made by us. And nowhere you will get this material anywhere. You can just try out entire each and every section with the content, with the logic, with the definition, with the uh, practical implementation of S ETL testing and the BI reporting testing. We'll be providing this software. We will be providing you entire your Informatica uh, software, workflow manager, workflow monitor, everything this software will be given to you that too for your entire life not for one or two days or for 10 days no it's for entire life this uh, suppose this is a oracle software this will be given to you for your entire life we never give uh, for one for some people will give for one year two year we have never done like that when we give a software we give it for your entire life and based on the yeah see this is the uh, table and all we will be considering when we will be practicing the queries. And this entire software of your, see this is SQL Oracle software we will be giving you. This is Power BI, this is the uh, ETL testing tool. Uh, we will be giving you Informatica and we have the BI reporting tool that is Power BI. That also we will be giving you. And this is how we proceed. This is the best center for ETL and BI reporting testing. And there's no one who matches our standard. And you can see our YouTube video.